Well, I'm delighted to say I'm making his debut coming out of the uh, the green corner, I'll have to say. The one and only Paddy Barnes, double Commonwealth gold champion and, of course, captain of our Commonwealth Games team. Paddy, you've had some career. Ah, it's not too bad, you know. I'm 27 and I've had a good career so far. But not, not stopping here. Next year is the Olympic qualifiers and I'm hoping to qualify as soon as possible. I think by April I could qualify through the World Series of Boxing. So that's, that's a reason I'm looking to go down it. Good to, to go down at the minute. How significant is the likes of that World Series of Boxing for you? It's brilliant because it's over a longer period of rounds, maybe five three minute rounds, no hair yard, no vest, so it's it's, it's more or less professional. But only the difference is, is the gloves are a bit more padded than, than the pros. But for me it's it's brilliant because I I, I like the, the longer rounds. You talk about the you mentioned the word professional there and the you know, we see stories about you coming out now and again. I wouldn't mind turning professional and stuff like that. And yet, you know, you're our, you're our gem here in the country. You know, you're our, our best boxer like that. You know, to go and get two, two, two wins and success of coming with games is incredible. Are you ever going to turn professional? Are you happy where you are? I'm, I would love to go professional. You know, you look at the likes of Carl Frampton, you know, even when you're walking around with him, he's fighting in front of 9,000, 16,000 fans. It's unbelievable. Me, I, I'm going to the Azerbaijan fitting in the PE hall in front of 50 fans, you know, so it's it's a major, major difference there, but obviously it's it's all about money at the end of the day, and uh, I don't get well supported, love sport and I, and the I sport in so it be, wouldn't make sense for me to go professional. And Polly, it wouldn't matter what sport you're in, as a top class athlete and a top class sports person. It's great to fight in front of a big crowd, isn't it? Because it really gives you the lift. You know, you come alive when you go to the likes of the Commonwealth. That's why. I, I love fighting TV. I love fighting the big crowds, you know. But you get to showcase your skills in front of a, a bigger audience. And, you know, it's it's more enjoyable. And, you know, it just has a fire in our belly, you know, burning because you're fighting in front of so many people. It's just, that atmosphere is unbelievable. Why are we so good at amateur boxing? Why are we so good? Uh-huh. I think, you know... You know both the, sides of the border, like, and we're yeah, very, think, very strong, Ireland, you know. Yeah, I think because, you know, the last seven years, I'd say, we're starting to believe that we're going to match these countries like, like Russia and Cuba. You know, I think it's our self-belief. And our coach, you know, one of the Eastern European coaches, Saar Antia, you know, he bought his techniques in the Irish boxing and, you know, they seem to be paying off. And you, you can obviously see it in the, the, the tournaments we're going to, we're picking up gold medals. Well, we're all years ago. We're lucky to win a fight. But Paddy, you talk about the coaches coming in and bringing their expertise, but they have to have the raw material to work with. You know, you're you're laying a lot of uh, the emphasis and a lot of the praise on the coaches, but like the boxers we have, the quality we have there too, they had to have the good material to work with in the first place. Oh yeah, you know, let's say you say Ireland, Northern Ireland's a, a small country, but it's a fighting country, so they've always had that natural, you know, fighting instinct in them. And have coaches, have the coaches that we're, that we're doing now. You know, they're able to, to nurture them and and, and skill them up and, and to fit them properly. You know, so I think because boxing so strong in Ireland, you know, they're just not very talented. But the coaches are, are obviously helping. You know, develop me more. Interesting. You talk about how we've such natural talent and great success. It's not just the lads too, as well. Kitty Taylor, she's not bad now. Not bad, I am. Not, not bad. Would you beat her? Would you beat her? Go on, go on. <laughs> Would you beat her if you got her in the ring? Would you beat it? Eh? Well, I'd I fit her in any day of the week she wants. Like, you know what I mean? I'm having for that there. So, so there's a challenge here in McLean. As long as it was easy, easy on me. Yeah, Kitty Taylor, Paddy Barnes, you know, the the rematch, whatever you want to do with it like that. It'll be some fight, wouldn't it, too? She's a great athlete, isn't she? Oh, 100%. You know, you just look at her CV, her many gold medals is one. You just, there's nobody to match her, you know, in sport. You know, not just Irish sport, any sport. You know, five-time world champion, six or seven European golds. It's unbelievable. And whenever you take a look at her, and then you mention other talent that we have here, you know, the likes of Michael Conlon, too, you know, your old sparring partner, like, he's some pup as well, too, isn't he? Oh, definitely. You know, people say, you know, Irish boxing is high, but we've got so much good boxers with you, but, you know, if the likes of Kay Taylor, Michael Conlon, and Michael Conlon for me is probably one of the most skillful boxing skillful boxers and they produced, you know, the skills he has is, is unbelievable. What about the future for everybody? Well, I think now, you know, the Irish team going forward to the Olympics, it's a very young team. You know, we had a lot of people going professional, like so John John Navin, Jason Quigley, you know, and a few other boys who, who went professional and like 
they already made me a favourite for, for Rio. But now I've hung out a strong team of put forward it. But you know, there's plenty of time to work on new, new things. And you know, the boys will be getting more experience next year. So hopefully, you know, two years' time, I'll have a, a good bunch of lads in uh, Rio. And I think, too, I know there's a lot of talk about cutbacks in sport and stuff like that. But the one area where they really shouldn't have cutbacks is boxing. Whenever you look at the level of skill, ability, and the success we have, you know, you go to any tournament in the world, you mention the Olympics there, you know, uh, Ireland, Northern Ireland, they got, there's always a chance we're going to pick up a medal in boxing, isn't there, compared to some of the, so, you know, some of the other disciplines? Of course, if you look at the, the past results, the, the last few Olympic Games, you know, it's always boxing, the, the Spurs and the Goods, you know, from Beijing, right to, well, Beijing and London, you know, the medal we're getting, and obviously if horse, horses and um, the Chambers brought it, but bronze medals too from Northern Ireland, you know, so, well, boxing would, would be the strongest sport you know, in the Olympics for, for Ireland. Okay, we're talking about the ability that we have and we're talking uh, boxing there with regard to amateur terms. Professional terms, your old mate, uh, Ciarad Frampton, he's done particularly well, hasn't he? Like He is he, he is the real deal too, isn't he? Oh, definitely, you know, and, he, and he's world champion, a proper world champion, you know. Um, and I think he's defended again soon, and I'm not too sure when, but I think he has to defend his manager, Chris Avalos. Mm -hmm. Soon, so you know, after he fights that, there hopefully you get the Craig fight on in the summertime, you know, somewhere in Belfast in an outdoor stadium. That'll be incredible, wouldn't it? Like, you know, the Craig fights, every, it's the one, you know, every now and again, you know, in, in, in boxing, should it be amateur or professional, you get the fight that everybody wants, and you know, the fight against Craig is the one that everybody really wants to see. Definitely, and, it, and, I, and you get a lot of fans in England, like right in the car, you, you can see it on Twitter that Carl has got a Craig and face first, you know, Craig has got a Carl, but. That's not the case, obviously, you know, it's the manager of promoters, you know, trying to agree terms. But, you know, for me, it's, it's an easy fight for Frampton. Easy fight for Frampton. Well, I hope to God he does very well. <coughs> with all, we would all be supporting him, obviously, to get, you know. But also, I'm looking at you now. You're in great shape. You're telling me you're 27, so you've been boxing for uh, probably the majority part of your life and you've been training for it. We're coming up to Christmas and praise like that. C can you possibly enjoy Christmas the way the rest of us, as you can see, enjoy Christmas? Do you... Uh, do you, do you have to be very disciplined? Yeah, it's <clears throat> all the championships are January and February, so you can't, you know, you can really enjoy yourself. You can go out and socialize with your mates or drink with your mates, you know, because of obviously the weigh-ins are, are in January, so you have to keep the head down, keep training right over Christmas, and it's hard, but, you know, it, it's worth it to us. Now, you say it's hard. Uh, do you enjoy the training? Yeah, actually, I, I do enjoy training. I enjoy getting get myself into shape. I enjoy um, training hard because, you know, I feel healthier for it and, you know, I know by training hard you know, I'll, I'll be ready for, for anybody who, who I'm, I'm faced against. Now, I want to talk to you as well too, one of your other loves, I know you're a great lover of boxing, but you love football too, you're a big uh, Cliftonville supporter, do you, do, you, do you watch the English game as well, do you watch the Champions League or Premiership too, do you watch that as much? Not really, like, you know, because... And to be honest, I, I never really get to see Clem there because I'm always in Dublin training. But uh, I used to support here, whoever's winning in, in the in English league, like, you know, <laughs> for a while or I was like, it's happened. But now they're, they're third place now. <laughs> so you're a Chelsea fan this week? Uh, but I, hate, I, hate Chelsea. I never support Chelsea, I hate them. Well, that's good, fair enough. Fair play, we'll, we'll, we'll both agree with that to an extent. You know, but locally, Cliftonville, you know, and I know you, I know you like the Irish League, you go to the Irish League and you're one of those lads because you work hard in your own sport and you think that some people are, are too quick to give off and criticise the level of skill in the Irish League and yet it's uh, it's been a good league uh, this season. Oh, brilliant, you know. People thought they were for Clemens and Boise leave, you know, they were going to go to the base, but sure, look, they're near top of the league already, and they were top of their cup of school. So, you know, they're doing fantastic, so they are. They brought on new players as well. And uh, two of the goals going every weekend, it's, it's, just, it's great. The Irish League is good quality, you know, you've been at it this season, they got on any teams capable of beating any other team. Oh, yeah, definitely, you know. You, you just look at uh, Saturday, or um, Coleraine beating Clemens 2 0. Mm -hmm. You know, so it just goes to show you need to be on, your, on form every game. Did you ever fancy being a footballer? Like I, and let's put this. I'll put it another way. If Paddy Barnes wasn't a double Commonwealth gold winner and a top class boxer, what would you like to be? Because I know you'd want to be doing something in sport. I probably love to be a professional golfer because you could pay so much money for walking about a <laughs> furway <laughs> with a stick. So probably a golfer. So that's your message to Rory McIlroy Rory and, and G Mac out there. You know, G Mac guy or Darren Clark. Or... Are you any good at golf? Terrible. 
Yeah, uh, she like it. Ten a few weeks ago in Druid's Glen. Mm -hmm. And I got a hole in ten, so. That's too valid. Hey, I've been there. I have to say, I know I'm laughing, but I've been there. Uh, uh, a hole in ten. Paddy, listen, I tell you what, I've really enjoyed the conversation with you now. And uh, next year, a big year for you for the World Series. I got, is Conlon going to be involved in that too? Yeah, you are up and down to Dublin now and training hard, aren't you? Yeah, both, both me and Conlon got uh, drafted in the World Series of Boxing by uh, an Italian team called Italia Thunder. And our first fight is on the 16th of January over in Azerbaijan. Mm -hmm. So that'll be the start of our uh, Olympic qualifiers. Azerbaijan, I've been there now uh, with Northern Ireland and I said, a strange place too in many ways, like I, but they, they certainly like their sport. Oh yeah, they're mad, you know, I've been there a few himself, boxing, and believe me, they're right behind their sports people, they love it, they're coming, they're coming their third, just to free, even amateur boxing, they're, they're coming, I'm uh, watching, you know, the locals turn really well. Do you get a wee bit upset maybe, the fact that, you know, you would travel the likes of Azerbaijan, and Azerbaijan, you'd be a big name, and you'd have big crowds out to watch you, and, you know, you could walk up and down the street in Belfast and not enough people pay enough attention to you, I feel. Sometimes we're never, we're never good at recognising our own uh, uh, stars, I think, over here. Yeah, I think well, the sport I'm in, I'm just boxing, you know, it's not really, it's not really, you wouldn't say it's on TV or a lot, or, you know, don't really get as much media attention as, as some of the other sports, you know, like golf and rugby, where we seem to be producing the goods, and, well, golf does as well too, but, you know, I just think that's just... The media just didn't really have an interest in it. Well, I think that we always produce it, and you know, you I just wee bit about that. Yeah, the media, it's only really whenever we go to major tournaments like the Commonwealth, like the Europeans, like the Worlds, like the Olympics, that whenever you become, you know, and I, I report on you so often, yeah. that's whenever you're, you're in the full glare. But you would feel then after that happens, it sort of goes in the wane again until the next tournament. Oh, it's like every two years, so you the Olympics and the Commonwealth Games, so every two years, apart from each other, and you know, that's the only time you really seem to be getting any. Any attention? Boxing, um, for years and years in boxing here and uh, in trouble touring on our and boxing was the one sport I, th I felt that uh, throughout the years of reportage was the one that always kept its head above water, always kept it uh, that here, you know, you just box and it's, it, it proves that, you know, when the likes of yourselves and Carl and people like that, you are, are firm friends and buddies. Great sport for anybody who wants their child to get involved in. 100%, you know, boxing and sports, they bring both sides of the community together. Oh, my club is in Republic in Ireland, in New Lodge, in New Lodge area, in North Belfast, and uh, you know, I'd say sixty percent of my club is Parsons, you know. So it, it's just great to see, you know, such a mix, and you know, any area, you know, so anybody can come into the club, you leave your religion or your views at the door, and you you get on the training. That's just and it's about you be. Boxing's been good to you, but you've been good to boxing too, Paddy. You've enjoyed your career. Oh yeah, it's been a brilliant career. We've been boxing for sixteen years, and I've won so much. You know, and I've I put so much into it, but I'm getting a lot back out, and I'm not finished yet. But I will certainly hope you're not finished yet, and hopefully you'll be making the headlines, and hopefully you'll be joining us again here on McLean's TV some stage in the future. And a very happy Christmas day. You too.